Hello. This is a tutorial on how to set up steel automation from Greg Tech 6. We now have redstone interactivity with molds by right clicking with the monkey wrench. So we can set that to redstone input. You also will need to set the mold itself to auto pour on and then heat your crucible up to above 2043 I have it set at greater than 2100 turn the master kill switch on that will send power down to the CESU which needs to have do not output energy set to its redstone behavior that is then going into the heater which is going into the crucible there's a hopper on top to drop in the iron you basically want to preheat your graphite to the 2000 melting point or reload your graphite in at least one graphite per 25 ingots you can also use pure carbon but that needs to be heated to 3800 to melt so you will need to preheat that and then throw in the iron ingots into the hopper for how many ever you have of graphite in there and it will just sit here and run for you now there's a hopper underneath the mold that's pulling the steel out of the mold after it cools and then dumping it here in the chest so I have done almost a two run of steel with this setup not having to interact with it at all and you could actually run this with 15 graphite in the crucible as long as you have one of the slots it holds 16 total you could fill this with 15 graphite and then it would just drop one iron ingot in for each run you do not have to use iron ingots you can use iron dust you do want to refine your iron first so either using the machines to get pure iron dust or refining it yourself making the iron ingots which is what I did and throwing it in that way but that is all you have to do use your cutters here to change your red alloy wire to connect to the thermostat connect to the master shutoff and connect to the side of the mold here in case you don't know you need to use a screwdriver to change which I will do on this one because it is not actually functioning for anything other than visual to use this with a right click that changes through your mold or through your uh, different settings so you just go to the greater than then with an open hand change your thermometer up to 2100 top row does hundreds minus and plus this does the tens minus and plus and the bottom row does the ones minus and plus and if for some reason you don't like working in Kelvin you can change it over to that mode which is alphanumeric but I like to leave it on the regular numeric Kelvin rather than the alphanumeric Kelvin. 
So that is the setup. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I will see you in the next video. If there's anything you need help setting up, leave it in the comments and I will get to work on it. Have a good one.